for me, like, I will always paint no matter what. Like, like if no one was gonna pay me, like I'm still gonna paint. Yeah. Like regardless, it's just in me. I, I might not have a show coming up. I might not have clients coming up to me and asking for new stuff, but I'm always gonna draw and I'm always gonna paint regardless. I don't care if like my whole room is backed up with paintings and no one's gonna buy it, I'm still gonna paint. Like that's just how it is. And if people like it and if people feel it, then yeah, of course I'm still gonna do it. But no matter what, even if I was dead broke, like I would still paint. I went to a tattooer, and his name's like Nick. His name is Nick Colella, one of like the best out there. And I asked him, I was like, I was like, do you ever turn it off? Like, do you ever go home and just kind of relax and not think about tattooing? And he's like, no way. And I was like, really? He's like, man, no. Like, I go home and I work on it because I know that. Tattooing has given me everything that I could ask for. So he goes home and he like he works on his flash, he like tattoos his kids, he like draws tattoos on their bodies and stuff. And he's like, I don't turn it off. And for me, I was like, whoa, really? Because sometimes I just need a break. Like I just need a break from art. But he's like, no, I just keep going because I know that if if I do stop, you know, where what am I gonna do? And it's the same thing, like if Michael Jordan were to stop playing basketball. He would have been a regular dude. If P. Rod never picked up a skateboard, a regular dude. And for me, I know that art is art, and like painting is what pushes me to be like like more than average guy. So that's just who I am. Like painting pushes me to be more than average than than this guy, and that's like my edge. And if I'm gonna lose like art, and if I'm gonna lose painting, then I'm just gonna lose it. And I don't ever want to see myself like that. So that's what kind of motivates me. It's like the Adidas commercial. Basketball. Yeah, basketball is everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, and that's what it is. Like, man, if D-Rose never picked up a basketball, you know, he would have been a regular guy. Which, when you really think about it, like, all you have to do is put a lot of time into it. And you know what's funny is, like, all that sacrifice that you put into, like right when you finally get that reward, like you don't even remember the sacrifices that you put in, to be honest. When, when you know that you're supposed to do something, like I know I'm supposed to paint, like regardless. Like ever since I was a kid, I remember like there'd be like summers when it's like really nice out and I would just be so excited to draw. Like, oh yeah, like, let's finish all this paper. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna finish all this paper and just draw on it and like, it's super nice out. But, you know, it's just in you. Like, like when you're not doing something that you should be doing, like, it's just gonna kill you inside. And it's just gonna slowly like, take away from you. This